Now, okay, so uh, we're done with some uh, aperitifs. Aperitifs is basically, I believe, a French word for appetizer. <laughs> so, okay, let's start the second exam coverage, which which um, is basically a new topic. Um, in the annotated lecture slide, we have lecture 14. However, when I viewed lecture 14, it is 60 slides. <laughs> and I cannot discuss 60 slides in one hour. <laughs> I, ang gagawin ko dyan, if, if, if discuss ko yan ng one hour, magra na lang ako. <laughs> Yes, yes, yo, So we cannot do that. So what I did instead is to divide this lecture. So lecture plan for lecture 14 is today I will discuss scalar product and work or the dot product and the definition of work. And we will see that basically work is just a, a dot product. Pero specific yung ano yung dina dot product mo dyan. And then next time after you're reading this break, which is on Tuesday, um, next, uh, the week after this next week, after you're reading week break, which is on November 9th, uh november 9 november 8 i forgot sorry but next time i will continue my discussion of lecture 14 which now on brick and kinetic energy how is kinetic energy related to work we can derive some expressions there and we realize ah you're not following relationships nila. okay so the first part of this like of this lecture 14 which will be discussed today is on scalar product and break so um that will be the coverage of the first uh of the first part of your le2 coverage so uh, here are the objectives of this discussion at the end of this part one of the lectures or part a of this lecture we need to calculate you should have uh, known how to calculate the scalar product or the dot product of two vectors um we define break and then we determine the work done by a constant force acting on the system so for example if you have different forces how do you calculate the break of that of that system of of um of forces okay and i will start the discussion after I, de I define the dot product, I will start the discussion by saying na hindi lahat ng, um, ng forces ay makakapag-produce some motion. Okay, let's look to that um, when, we, when we discuss it. Now, let's go to scalar product. So, okay, remember, of course, nung, nung first LE coverage, we know that uh, we have different operations and vectors. We have addition, we have subtraction. Uh, we have multiplication by a scalar. Iba yung scalar product ha. It's the multiplication of one scalar to another vector. Now, the question now is, how do we generalize this to products of vectors? So, ngayon, may pwede kang dalawang sagot. Well, um, pwede. Ang product ng dalawang vectors ay scalar. Wala namang nagsasabi sa akin na ang product ng dalawang vectors ay, ay vectors eh. Pero pwedeng scalar yan. At the same time, I can define a product of two vectors being a vector. Diba? So, the point here is you can define two products for two vectors, a scalar product and a vector product. So the first one that we will be discussing for this course is the scalar product, which is by definition, a given two vectors A and B, this A and B, this is the physics definition because we're dealing with arrows here. Um, the scalar product or the dot product is given by A dotted with B, it's magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of B, times the cosine of the angle between them. So uh, A dot B is A, B cosine C, where A and B here are the magnitudes of A vector and B vector. So uh, yun, 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 C is the angle between A and B when connected to the So for example, here, A and B, the angle between them is C. OK, questions? So, may tanong ba rito? May tanong? Wala po. Wala, OK. Now, a, a, a dotted B, an interpretation here is this. A dotted with B means the magnitude of A times the component of B in the direction of A. So, pwede mong isip na um, you, uh, you decompose B onto A and then you calculate the product of the magnitude of A and that component of B that's in, direct, in the direction of A. Pwede mong isipin ganon. Also, for example, here, A and B. Of course, ang tanong niya, ano, ano daw? Ano raw? Ano sinasabi nito, Mr. So, a dotted with B is A times B cosine C. What, but what is B cosine C? So kung naalala ninyo yung, of course, I can create a coordinate system here, yung coordinate ako dito. What I can do is, I can project my B onto A. Para ka nag, nagpasok ng shadow from B towards A. So parang ginawa mo, ayan, nagbagsak ako ng perpendicular dito and naglabas ako ng angle dito. And that's B cosine C. And then, the product of the magnitude of this vector with B cosine C is the um, it's the dot product A dotted with B. Okay? My questions? My questions? May tanong? None so far. Now, remember, multiplication for scalars is associative. So, pwede mong ibahin yung association ng 
cosine phi at saka ng A. So, ang mangyayari, pwede mo rin sabihin na, well, I can also say that it's B times the component of A in the direction of B. Baliktad naman. So, instead of uh, making your A, um, uh, pet, e, e, bisa magbagsak ka ng perpendicular from A to, from B to A, baliktad naman kay A, papunta kay B naman. So, for example here, I can make, I can extend this B, tapos magdodrawing ako ng pagbagsak na ano dyan, so that is A cosine phi multiplied by B, so, and that's ang nangyari, um, nagbagsak ako ng perpendicular component from A going to the direction of B, and hence, I get an A dotted with B, which is equal to the component of A in the direction of B, multiplied by the magnitude of B. So, yun yung um, scalar product, another interpretation of the scalar product, and they're both equivalent. Wala namang, um, walang pinagkaiba yan. <laughs> walang pinagkaiba yan. Okay? And so, another way to view it is to use shadow. So, as I said, kung may ilaw ka dyan sa taas, kapag nag-create ka ng shadow in the direction of B, then that's the, that's the definition of the, of, the, of the scalar product. So, A dotted with B is A multiplied by the component of B on the direction of A. Similarly, I can also do a shadow that's like that and we say that A dotted with B is B multiplied by the, the component of A on the direction of B. Ay, yeah, tama. Okay, questions? May tanong ba rito? Are there None. any questions? None. Okay. Now, so uh, there are special cases. On the depending on the angle C, pakakita tayo ng mga special cases dito. So, okay, so, um, for example, wait lang ha. Okay, so some special cases of this um, dot product here, depending on the angle C, uh, uh, we can define an uh, angle. If A and B are parallel, so for example here, uh, A and B are parallel, then the angle between them, anong angle between them? 0, 90, 270, 540, anong angle yan? Siyempre 0, di ba? So the phi is just 0, and therefore, A dotted with B is just the magnitude of A multiplied by the magnitude of B. Okay? Gets? Gets? So A dot B is AB cosine of 0. Pwede yan. So if A and B are parallel, then the dot product is just the product of their magnitude. So now, and yan, A dot of B is just AB. Now, if A and B are perpendicular, so for example, A and B are like this one, the angle between them is 90 degrees, then, um, of course, V is 90 degrees, we got A dot B is AB cosine 90 degrees. But what is cosine of 90 degrees? So, ano yan? Zero. Zero, yes, exactly. Therefore, a dot b is equal to zero. In fact, one can you what you can define two perpendicular vectors. You can say this this definition: two two vectors are perpendicular if and only if their dot products vanish. And the dot product, of course, you can expand it to so-called um inner product. Dun sa mga um higher physics chuchu na yan, may tinatawag na inner product. And if the inner product vanishes, then orthogonal or perpendicular yung dalawang vectors or vector spaces. Kung pag-usapan natin yung mga vector spaces. But nonetheless, the point here is if the dot product is zero, then A and B are perpendicular or orthogonal to each other. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? May tanong? Wala. Wala. Okay. Now, what if they are anti-parallel? So, for example, there, the angle now between them is 180 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, opposite direction sa yung dalawang yan. And we know that for uh, anti-parallel vectors, dapat yung A at saka A is just some negative B multiplied by some scaling. So, in that case, phi is 180 degrees. And therefore, the dot product is simply the negative of the magnitude of A multiplied by the magnitude of B. So A dotted with B is minus AB. Tama? Gets? Gets ba to? Apo. 